Hi, welcome. Um, I want to conclude my series of adventure um, building. Um, so there's uh, this um, playlist, uh, what I did, I think three sessions are in there. And I want to conclude um, this now with a final preparation step. So um, what um, did I so far? I uh, just provided a basic working outline and a structure for a campaign that um, I could use or everyone who wants can use and make it uh, his own or her own um, implementation. Um, it shouldn't be more for my personal taste because I think it's enough if you just provide a solid working structure kind of loosely without overdefining things. <laughs> this sounds a little bit complicated, I know, but um, I think you should not invest so heavily on each detail that could come the way of your story you want to tell. Because um, as I some already said uh, in the last episode, um, the story is not created if you when you write it. It's created together when you and your friends, players, together um, evoke this story and ignites it and bring it to life. So, as I said, um, goal today is to conclude, and uh, with this, just uh, to show you how I would plan the next session and the next session in this case is the first session everything um, from there on uh, i think uh, i will do this if i work on it i will keep it updated and you find a link where you can um, click in the description down below where you can find um, the stuff it's open available i put it in um, github um, this is normally for uh, code or stuff like this, but you can use it also for notes and um, version your <coughs> notes basically and everything you want to version or store somehow. But um, talking about tools and things I use, I will make a separate video um, including what I use here exactly. Uh, it looks a little bit weird, it's not Word, it's not OneNote, no, it's like a basic text format. Who knows this kind of stuff and uh, watched the last videos and uh, would notice um, that I switched from Markdown to Org. Um, it basically doesn't matter and it doesn't not matter if you write it in a Word document, Google Docs or um, on paper if you want. Um, but I can then show you how um, I think um, would that um, how it provides me doing the aiming, not uh, doing the aiming uh, at the table, because I'm then able to reference things quickly. Also in the uh, prepping stuff, and afterwards in logging, archiving uh, the informations uh, that we. In a campaign created together. So, enough said about this. I switch back to what we did so far. Yeah. So, what you see here is uh, the basic outline we created. Um, it's called the YouTube Adventure Creation. Um, right now, I think we had. Um, kind of uh, working title and I just will also name it here and um, what you can see down here below we have uh, working informations about the plot um, the player hook so here I called it intro before start um, this I renamed also um, from scenes to chapters because I think this has more the size or dimension of an uh, um, campaign rather than an 
single adventure, but um, yeah, you get the idea basically. Some information is about the secrets of behind the story, what's going on there, uh, location information, PCs, uh, NPCs, directions, and um, here I normally would then, if I play a session, I would write all everything down that happened in this session. So I try to be fast and just give you information of what we did so far concerning the plot. There are these two kingdoms, the Eastern and the Western Kingdom, um, who once were in war together, and there were also this evil and uh, good religion. Um, and this evil religion was put down at some point. And uh, the basic plot idea is uh, that this evil um, religion has become more like a cult and uh, wants to come back, arise again, and yeah, not only defeat uh, the other um, good religion, but more so um, take over this region and they use some kind of evil artifact that's driven by a demon a crown uh, just to give you a picture of it and as you notice this outline till to this point it's not uh, heavily detailed and it i think it should not be um, it should just provide you a structure a framework where you can operate within and plan your ideas and become creative um, during the way. So basic information plot, um, the player hook, um, let's rename this also for me, I think it's an PC hook. So uh, the basic idea is to start the PCs came with a caravan to a village or a heading uh, towards uh, um, this car this village and um, there's a monastery which will play a role later and uh, the destination of this caravan is um, the eastern kingdom and they are the capital and they start somewhere in the western kingdom and have to pass a mountain range and stuff like this so this is the basic hook right you guys are um, were hired by a caravan leader, caravan master, um, to travel with him and uh, protect along the way um, against the dangers that might occur there. He pays you very well, blah blah blah, you can come up with this. Then what I renamed the chapters are now, uh, scenes are now chapters, basically four not especially well named, but the most important uh, you see here is the start and the end. And um, start is important to get the players in. And what can they expect from the story you want to tell together or um, experience together? What's the theme? Be concise with the theme. <laughs> of course, you're not sure should be, every evening should be the same, but stick come back to the theme um, of it and um, I don't know what to go in detail here but basically these are the, the chapters of the story and every chapter is as you can see here basically described with the main idea and um, I think it's how many sessions it would take to complete one chapter huh? so for now chapter one chapter start could be over the mountain pass or something like this. And here in this area, we wrote down traveling mountain pass, attacked by a manticore, reach small town, caravan needs new horses or mules and supplies. So this is the first session we prepare later. But to go on, as I said, the next chapter, the next chapter, the end, we have in every station already some basic ideas and as you can see here in the end I wrote 
estimation down session seven till nine. So this is um, the end, basically a big final battle in the throne room. Things get revealed and um, the players can, I don't want to say must, but uh, can inter intervene and um, change the course of this um, evil things that will happen. So then some info secrets about the story already provide there. So what's going on there? There's an evil religion. The name follows down below. Um, this artifact, it's a crown with a demonical influence crown that brought down already the good hearted kings and um, the false lord a major antagonist who plays a big role more towards the end and I forgot something ah here uh, some notions about this artifact are already last time um, wrote some things down um, if you can see this is Hegel friendship this where stuff I rolled on this random tables from the mythic game emulator to give me some inspiration and I worked with this and um, came back with an idea I came up with an idea so what to expect location wise okay just um, we are in a scope of a western and eastern uh, kingdom the western kingdom of Galaria and the eastern kingdom of Julius just basic name later on I will put their dungeons cities villages everything that can be tagged by a location then informations about the PCs uh, I don't know I have nothing planned for a session if I um, would so I normally ask them what do you want to play now in this kind of um, adventure um, and if I know how what types they are I start thinking about it perhaps when I have already in a cool idea or a role that uh, somebody could then could apply um, I write it here down what I mean here with player stakes is um, something if you look up a uh, novel writing and I don't know a movie um, it's basically things um, this person's this players have to overcome to grow um, to succeed or to fail um, if you have this worked out for your players if you know them it could provide them um, I think with a good motivation to play their characters so that they are not uh, meaningless wandering around and asking themselves um, what do I actually do here why I am now with this caravan leader it doesn't bother me uh, or yeah, just basically that they have a goal and personal and a motivation then of course this list gets full but here so the main NPCs I expect that there was a big villain the Lord Bannigan once knight of the first order and he is the false lord um, which gets, gets revealed later uh, Delo Makurian, the caravan master, the ally, the friend, uh, well, who eventually becomes the friend during this long road trip, caravan trip. Elbin Raris, the merchant, who uh, traded weapons and armor crates. Hugh Marcel Boreas, the accused priest, who, who early on plays a role or in one of the sub adventures under chapters. And we had already a basic idea about the names of King, the Western Kingdom, King, King Elliot, and King Andrew. Um, and also some the ideas that came up. So, 
So the fractions, basically the church, Naru, the evil church, Helnor, the good church, who uh, plays in older worlds like Greyhawk, like me. I think Pedro, right? If I mess it up, I forgot the name, I think Greyhawk. Um, you will know a name who is basically <coughs> nearly the same as Pelnor, so forgive me for that. And here, as I said, upcoming notes for sessions. So, session is coming up. We play tomorrow or perhaps uh, this evening. What do I need? So, first, I make some one sentence what to expect and we have already have this traveling mountain pass attacked by a manticore reach small uh, uh, reach small town caribbean needs new horses so they are basically screwed at the end and they need to um, regain supplies so with this set mm, so this is basically cool. I can just subdivide it here in um, uh, in this org mode. This could be also um, done also in other formats like Markdown. But, um, now I think myself where to start. Why don't kick it off um, with an encounter? Oh, this is. Uh, really dull but uh, it works so in the mountains i call it um one side note i not um heavily thought during the videos about uh, the thing just now before recording i had this idea so basically i was nothing um, planned um, besides the recording so to say but this can change and I will work on it I think and provide it uh, updated versions under the links that I put under the descriptions so not summer summer in the mountains narrow path so there you can invoke describe uh, the scenery um, and then I come to the basics so we said that pack of manticores Attack Caravan. To be a more precise, the rear of the caravan where the the seas are. So right, describe it. Suddenly you hear screams and something flies over your head. Oh, I don't know what. So what do we know? We need now uh, a manticore. And how do I actually do this? I can show you and more on this on tools. Let me find so Oh, I didn't men mention what system uh, I play or like to play or types of systems. So here I basically um, old school essentials or referee book. So this is basically a print on demand version. So I brought the PDFs and um, this is old school essential stuff. This is basically the, it's the old D and D um, by uh, let me 
see this great guy. Um, BX Essentials by So to uh, sh just show you this, um, I'm an absolutely fan about this. Um, it's um, really good layout. This is the main cool stuff about this. It uh, dep depends, this is up basically the old D&D rules, but really nicely laid out, readable, referenceable. And um, this is what we play. I personally prefer this kind of games and um, we uh, at the table or in, in my other campaign my main campaign we use this um, advanced fantasy players in reverie terms so this are basically these two books and I wanted to uh, give you the name oh, I just look in the book right give me a second Ah, here it is. I'm so dumb. Um, Gavin Norman. Right. Gavin Norman. Right. So, um, now I need one decors. How can I do this? Mm. This game, for example, has online. Um, things and the rules can be referenced online this is pretty nice so as you can see here the main things of a character class is equipment magic I can here monster description and go down to M or I just search as you can see here and here in the Mandicore everything I need right and I would play it um, out of the book. I think if they are low level, 1d2, otherwise 1d4. This is um, BX essential specific, I think. If you're basic, 1d2. And if you're an expert level, then um, 1d4. So, and then I just paste it here. And if I need it later, I can reference it. Yeah, just uh, just a link, but um, I can show you um, stuff like this. And this I will do, as I said, a video about tooling. Um, yeah, this is another campaign. It's um, Temple of Elemental Evil. So basically the original uh, one T124. And especially this org mode here, this uh, format gives you nice features. You can reference direct to pages. Um, let's say I want to know about Greyhawk, uh, a little bit of, about calendar. This is German, by the way. So I click there down and it asks me something to want to open this. And I have everything I need. It brings me directly to this page, which I can look up. Um, let's say <clears throat> I need some information about um, Villuna. This is an area. No, I'm basically there. Or I want to read something about uh, Furion, the perhaps in uh, this new newer gray gasset here, and I'm basic there. So this I want to show you in another video. So they attack. Yep. 
basically everything you need here. Let's think through how much time can this take. Make half an hour des describing, role playing a little bit. Let them attack. Yeah, I think so. The one hour. The fight might be over. So, how can we um, spice this a little bit more? What what can what can happen? What task needs to be done in this session? What would be cool? Of course, a kind of dungeon or cavern or something. So, let's think through this and during the end of the battle. One of the NPCs, a rich <laughs> merchant, Um, was uh, not direct um, um, was dragged away by one of the monkey decors so Perhaps the attack is not only um, at the rear, perhaps uh, several or um, like um, two packs that attack them somehow. I think they are not really intelligent, but the basic idea is to create a situation where they now, 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 the caravan master wants the PCs to follow follow the trail. I don't know exactly if it's trail if, when they are flying. Um, wants to find the merchant. So, take a moment and take the rear of the cavern. There is also another pack that's taking somewhere up front. So, basically the merchant is up front, he gets lost, they have to retrieve him. Now, what do we actually need, therefore? Mm. Kind of cave system <laughs> would be good, right? So um, they attacked him. They saw him. This one moniker with the merchant was not killed, but somehow in his mouth, not, not instantly killed, and was. Uh, dragged away a few feet and then the Mandicor um, flew with him together up uh, into the mountain um, to a specific region so that they can um, know somewhere there um, the Mandicor is uh, perhaps uh, hopefully with the merchant still living but um, yeah we will see now, let me see, cave system, it's 
So. What I um, do here, DM, perhaps you know this uh, awesome um, map artist, uh, Dyson logo. I click here. You see. And now I just want a basic map. So somehow I just like this idea here. Okay, now oh, let's make it like this. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's see if you find it there. Caves, caves, caves. This is uh, kind of uh, nice. Cold caverns. It's too big. Too weird. I think we'll just take one of the next. Okay, okay, too much, too much going on. What do I need? What do I take? It's a gigantic one, right? Yes. It should be um Okay, I just um copy now. Copy image, copy image address. So oh, then here you have your dungeon that you can describe. Um, I think this right side is where the Manti Court reside. It's an old Abaddon mountain temple. And from the left there is this um, cave system. 
um, where they come, they reach this uh, this point on a plateau high above, perhaps. They find um, a cave entrance, and there um, they find a bloody trail. So let's assume perhaps the uh, um, the merchant came somehow free and fled in one of these narrow caves where he's basically clean, trapped and the manticores are luring outside. Yeah, perhaps this is a situation they have to overcome. Okay, done. So, this can I move? Can I move uh, around? It's also, and some details. Hold on, uh, fire. He sees right cave entrance. Inside Bloody trail situation. Um, merchant uh, somehow um, came free and what? in to uh, narrow passage where the manticores can't get him but he is Dread. Okay. So, I'm done. Clearly, on this plateau, clearly signs of beasts. Okay. So, this is the basic stuff. Let's uh, quickly look at the money for how intelligent they are. So, you see, monstrosities with the face of a man, the body of a lion, bad wings, love eating humans, dwell in wild mountain regions. So, it's perfect for this um, kind of surrounding. Tail spikes. Oh, they shoot 180. Really good. To, okay. So, okay. That's a cool, nice idea. Um, why did they not kill him? Perhaps simply. was dragged by one of the Manticores. Oh, 
Oh, what do you call this? Okay. Actually, to provide service for younger um, um, multi course. Yeah, I believe there are young Manticore somewhere um, in this um, Abaddon temple. And um, this pack is on the hunt, kills, drags Flash away, and um, this is such a situation. I think this can play out really nicely. Or, uh, first session so then the outcome in the mountains then we have our next scene which we can make here into the waves Right. And then reaching down. So what do we here need? Um, a tavern. So. I don't know. Tavern. Um, emerald. Shield. I give it a, a nice sounding name. We need a map. Let's look it up. And here I have already something. Um, tavern map. Ah, oh, I don't like this side. Actually, won't need it. I'll just describe it. And um, the town, it's not otherwise. Town. So, this is basically when they. The attack is on the highest point on this path, so they're traveling down. Another, another um, plateau down there, some miles. They find um, this town. Basically, just to be precise, a small town. Okay. Raven, Griven, Graven, 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 Graven. Griven, town of Griven. What? Um. You can think about a banner. Uh, what works? Okay, yeah. Um, what banner could this be? Um, a brown banner? No, uh, let's do the blue banner. Blue banner with 
three black mountains. Mountains and three white stars. This is something you can um, go a little bit more further. How many? Um, Diana, small town. Yeah, just I don't know. Of course, you can get an hour with it, but at least you have a tavern, you have a town name, you basically uh, know how the people are there. Are so um, a little rough. Um, okay, and monastery. Of Paranor. This will play in, in session one, right? So let's. Make this as a sub points reaching town of driven. driven. So Oh, I need some bullet point here more. Um, so. so just to give you an overview how we are doing now in session one. This is what we have. So first scene, this is the start, I normally declared start and end. We have um, this combat, then some trail, finding, searching, dungeon. Um, perhaps treasure. Treasure can be placed here. Roll mm. use Manticore uh, pleasure tie. So to show you this in older systems, basically you have a reference to um, To the treasure, uh, normally uh, that can be found the monster. So you can see a treasure type D, and you can here see a treasure type. Okay, now you will see D. And you can roll on this table. This can be really entertaining. So in these older systems, um, um, here for example, if you find 3,900 gold pieces, you actually, or the group earns 3,900 XPs. If you don't know this, it may sound a little bit dumb, but it has a, a kind of nice working mechanism with it but perhaps i should do there a separate video and there are a lot of um, great 
um, content already on YouTube. Where you can look this up under old school gaming and stuff like this. So let's focus back. Where do we want to stop? To reach the town. This is done. This is small role play. And in the end, what is this? Ah, this was the link to the dungeon. I paste it here. Buff. So, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. let us see, where are we? So, I just now uh, collapsed everything, I'll just reopen, we are here at Preparation at the start. Uh, session one. So, basic overview. Start in the mountains. Battle. Trail tracing. Dungeon provided. Role play. And we want to end. And what I aim here for is um, to try to end with a cliffhanger to get even more excitement in um, yeah we end with a situation where suddenly a heavily wounded monk enters the tavern So let's be a little bit where end. What I then need is to fill NPCs, play them. Mm. Some random fantasy names I can up can come up with them. see oh, sometimes I'm just writing them down myself D and D oh come on Fantasy folklore. No, I don't want to have a mad scientist's name. I just want to have. Uh, uh, no, I. Random names. Sly, Sly Flourish, this is great, I show the shoulder side. I think... 
if you know this if you are into uh, dming you will know this site he's really active on <clears throat> on youtube so i just reference this page and they have some yeah i could not so in the middle of not coming up with something struggling i don't know and look ah this is oven or this is reef curious or what um then also rules same concept here mm. so here i basically you see srd from um, which I can use and click here and I have everything basically what I need what I can allow magic spells uh, magic use spells so how I use this with uh, PDS and stuff I will show this in another video with tooling um, so this is basically everything I think I will need for my first session and yeah you can place it somewhere sometimes i make just a session prep entry and i have everything there so let me see chapters but for now everything is here right so to just give you tip this is okay of course it's about tooling and i showed it but um uh, let me so i want just to export it now mm. let me see i have to look it up Org export to html see if you'll find this okay uh org dispatch dispatch okay um now i want to make the whole file the whole buffer what you can see here and i will say h for html and that's html so now it's somewhere stored and we'll show you mm. where are we um rpg dm in youtube channel Yes, this is what uh, I wanted to show you. So, the stuff that I wrote here is now basically cleanly formatted with everything that I need. Right? Um, this is the power I see uh, using such a tool. Could be a PDF, um, could be your, like this, your HTML, and you to a little technical and if you want um, to archive your stuff you can use the chief web server and put your stuff there on so of course pictures are now a little bit oversized right but we have now here this information this leads a little bit more um, 
I'll mod it. So. And. This set, um, I think um, I just conclude here, and uh, I hope uh, I hope that I provided you a good overview how I plan my adventures, my campaigns, and perhaps already what kind of tools I use. Um, if you did it so far. I really thank you for watching and um, and write any comments down, suggestions, um, um, things you might uh, want to tell me or and yes. With this said, have a great day and till the next time. All the best for you. Thank you for watching.